there will be the manifestation of the blessing of God in your life. You will not use your own mouth to take away your blessings. Enemy has spoken into your life. But what about the things that you yourself have spoken into your life? And you are speaking into your life every day. And you are thinking in your mind every day. And the Bible says, as a man thinketh, so he see. The children of Israel, they thought they were grasshoppers. At first, they were thinking like that in their mind. That they were grasshoppers. That was where it started from. From their mind. That they were grasshoppers. Suddenly, it now became action, according to what our mommy taught us. They were thinking about it in their mind, and then it became an action. And then they now said, in fact, we are grasshoppers. Can you see? At first, they were thinking in their mind that they were grasshoppers. And then suddenly, it now occurred to them that, in fact, we are, we are not just thinking this thing. Actually, we are. And then, they became like grasshoppers. I pray that none of us we use our mind to rob ourselves of what God has planned for us from the beginning of days. And I pray that all the blessings of our coming together, our praying, our searching the scriptures, our studying the scriptures will manifest in your life, in Jesus' name. You know, my mommy said that we must always search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. Said we must always do it. And that, that is the only way we can empower ourselves and i want you to know that i agree with that completely i agree with that completely because when you search the scriptures you will be able to stand against the enemy you'll be able to stand against the enemy when you spend time to search the scriptures. Today, I want you to just pay attention because we are going to look into some words and then we will pray and then I can assure you if you have already made up your mind that you will succeed nothing can stop you nothing can stop you because the word of god is there to back you up the word of god is there to back you up spend time to search the scriptures search the scriptures so I want you now to turn your Bible with me. We are going to look at Psalms. Psalm 92 and in verse 12. Psalm 92 and in verse 12. It says, The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Now look at the next verse. The next verse says, Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of God. They shall flourish in the courts of God. It goes on and on. He says, they shall still bear fruit in old age. He says they shall be fresh and flourishing. 
Why? In verse 15. So that they can declare that the Lord is upright, that he is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. There is no unrighteousness in him. Now, those who are planted in the house of the Lord, how can you be planted in the house of the Lord? You can be planted in the house of the Lord when you are when you are friendly with the word of God. When you are friendly with the word of God, when you don't do pick and shoes. When you don't do pick and shoes. Some people they pick some and they, they refuse to, to, to take the other. They pick one, anyone that will demand something from them, that will demand their action. As our mommy told us, they, they won't pick that one. They don't like that one. They don't like to, to take any action. They don't like to do anything. They only like to get the honey. They are not prepared to go to the honeycomb. And if you ask anyone, they will tell you that anyone that is running away from the sting of the bee can never get to the honeycomb. They don't want to take action over anything. Whether it is over their commitment, over their service to the Lord, over their even their money, that is that's something they will leave here when they, they, they when when they die. They don't they don't they don't want to take action over it. They prefer to continue not heeding the advice of our Lord Jesus Christ. They prefer to continue building their castle here on earth instead of building a mansion for themselves in heaven. So we must make sure that we follow the word of God. The Bible tells us in Isaiah 51 and in verse 2, it says, look to Abraham your father. That is, look to him. Make him your, 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 your role model. Take an example from him. Look to Abraham, your father, and to Sarah, who bore you. That is Isaiah 51, and in verse 2. He says, For I called him alone. And that is what I want you to take note of tonight. For you to be empowered to succeed, make sure that you are following Christ not based on somebody's advice, not based on somebody's uh, uh, pressure, but following Christ, knowing fully well that He has called you alone. Everybody will account for what they have done with that call. He says, I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. And blessed him and increased him. And tonight, you are going to be increased. Because God has blessed you. You will be increased. Make up your mind. You will not allow anyone to lead you away from the blessing of God. I want you to always remember this passage. I called him alone. I called him alone. Every one of you must have been called alone at a point. If you are in the kingdom of God, you are a child of God, you must have been called alone at a point. Nobody will say that, oh, they called me 
and my husband at the same time. Or they call my husband and myself at the same time. No, no, no. It could be the same time, but everybody was called alone. You are hearing the word of God. The word of God made an impact in your life. It changed your life. It turned you around. It made you to become the child of God. That exercise must have been done alone. Alone. Only you. So, some people, they get to church and they find people that they have known before. And they be wondering, how did you get caught? How did you, when did you become born again? They will be surprised that they were called the same time that they also were called. But everybody was called alone. So bear that in mind. Many people have been all alone. And you are thinking in your life that nobody has helped me. Why are you worrying yourself? Why don't you look unto God for your help? The word of God says, I will look on to the hill. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. They are saying that nobody has understood me. Nobody understands me. Why do you want people to understand you? If you know you are doing the right things according to the mind of God, why do you want people to understand you? The Bible says that when your ways are righteous, when your ways are righteous, even your enemies, God will turn them around to become your friends. So, what you need to do is, you just hold on to God. Keep on searching the word of God. Empower yourself from there. And then, you'll find that every other thing will fall in place for you. Don't worry. Your help will come from the Holy Spirit. And today you will be blessed. And you will be increased. Like Abraham. You will be blessed. You will be increased. Like Isaac. You will be blessed. You will be increased. Like Jacob. Nothing will stop your increase. Nothing will stop your blessing. No matter what anyone is doing. God has called you to increase you. And he will increase you. He will increase you. Even when nobody wanted you to increase, I say today that God that has called you is going to divinely show up in your sector, in your corner. In a, in a way that God will make your enemies to be so dumbfounded. They'll be walk, looking at you and they'll be wondering that when did he pass? When did she pass? And we have set a trap for him or her. How did he avoid it? How did she avoid it? Because the Holy Spirit has prepared tonight to increase you and to bless you. You have come here tonight. I want you to know that you are very well positioned. You are very well positioned for a blessing. And the Lord is going to reward your obedience. He is going to reward your bravery for rejecting all the things, all the suggestions of the enemy. Don't worry. Maybe people have broken your heart so many times. Today, today, I said God Almighty is going to increase you. He will increase you. And if I were you, I will be saying amen, you know, so that God will increase you before increasing others. You have to grab it. You must grab it. When it is coming out like this, then grab it. If I were you, I would say amen. Because by saying amen, and you make it so loud, what you are, do, what you are saying is that God, increase me. I don't, God, I don't, I don't tell, I won't tell you not to increase others, but increase me before increasing others. Your faith 
faith has already prepared the way for you. You have been serving, you have been sacrificing a lot. The Bible tells me that God will not muzzle the ox that treads out the corn. God will not muzzle it. You are treading out the corn. God will not muzzle it. He will continue to increase you. He will continue to increase you. In a mighty, mighty way. In a mighty, mighty way. Today you will be empowered. You will be empowered to succeed. You will be empowered to succeed. Whether in winter or summer. In rainy season or dry season. The palm tree is never affected by any season. So, whatever the season right now in this country, in your neighborhood, in your place of work, in your place of business, I said, you, you will be blessed. You will be increasing every day by day. You will be flourishing. You will be flourishing in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be growing plenty. You will be growing plentifully in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be shining. You will be shining. You will be sparkling. You will be sparkling. I can assure you, by the reason of the anointing of God, you will be blossoming. You will be blossoming. And people will be wondering that how you managing in this time, at this season. And then you will tell them that it is your God. That it is your God. Your God has promised you. And your God never go back on his promise. You are a spiritual palm tree. Let me tell you. You are a spiritual palm tree. The blessings of God. On you. Like a palm tree. I say you will be healthy. You can never see a palm tree that is sick. You can never see it. I say by the reason of that. By the reason of that. I said, the blessing of God for good health will follow you today. It will follow you today. You will be blessed to be healthy. You'll be healthy. You'll be strong. You'll be strong. You will bear fruit in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen, look at what God says to, 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 to you tonight. In Matthew 6, from 28 to 30. The Bible says that the wicked may blossom briefly. The wicked, that they may blossom briefly. He says, but the righteous shall be fruitful and flourishing even into old age. Even into old age. You see? God is prepared tonight to bless his faithful children. Are you one of them? Are you one of them? If you are one of them, I decree now into your life, you will bear abundance fruit in the mighty name of Jesus. From today, you will demonstrate the goodness of God wherever you go. Wherever you go, by the reason of the word of God that we have read, that I have spoken to you, I pronounce these blessings on you tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus, that by the power of the Most High God, no matter the season, you will always stay fresh. You will always stay fresh, in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not wither. You will not wither. I say you will not wither, in the mighty name of Jesus. You will never suffer dryness, in the mighty name of Jesus. Dryness spiritually, dryness physically, dryness financially. You will never suffer dryness in the mighty name of Jesus. You will always glorify God in everything that you are doing, in all your good endeavors, all the good works of your hand. You will always glorify God. The Lord will remember all His covenant over you. I said they will remember all His covenant over you. And he will bring it into fulfillment tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. All his covenants over your children. Over your grandchildren. The Lord will remember them. And he will bring them into fulfillment tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, God is saying that somebody 
there is a tree that is a that is growing in your life and that tree is only bringing sorrow but because you are here today i said because you are here today that tree is already uprooted right now in the mighty name of jesus that tree of sorrow is uprooted and is set on fire from your life completely from your family in the mighty name of jesus whatever evil plan of the enemy for you and for your loved ones or for your family for your children for your grandchildren tonight i decree that they shall turn to blessings for you i said they shall turn to blessings for you in the mighty name of jesus god will make your enemies to hear the sound they will hear a sound and that sound that they will hear will scatter there they will it will scatter them in the mighty name of jesus they will not be able to regroup again in the mighty name of jesus whoever causes you from now on i said whoever causes you from now on will be caused from heaven i said they will be caused from heaven Whoever causes you or causes your children or your grandchildren, they will be caused from heaven. They will be caused from heaven. And all those causes they are pronouncing, they will turn to blessings for you. They will turn to blessings for your children and for your grandchildren. Whoever, anyone at all, that defies you, that are saying that what are they doing? What prayer are they praying? I said, whoever that person is, by the reason of the anointing of God, they will lick the dust of your legs. I said, they will lick the dust of your feet in the mighty name of Jesus. They will regret their words. They will regret what they are saying. Because this prayer that we are praying, there will be a manifestation. There will be a manifestation. There will be a happening. There will be a performance in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And anybody that is digging any pit for you, they shall fall into that pit themselves. They shall fall into that pit themselves. And anyone that is setting any trap for you, will fall into that trap themselves. In the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, I decree that every power that is terrorizing your life during the day, in the afternoon, even at night, they shall be overpowered and destroyed by the power of God in the mighty name of Jesus. All those spiritual terrorists that have been terrorizing you, terrorizing your children, your grandchildren, I said tonight, they will be terrorized. They will be destroyed. They will be kicked out of your life. They will be kicked out of the life of your children in the mighty name of Jesus. God will disgrace your enemies openly. He will disgrace them openly. Any man, every man or woman that is walking tirelessly against your progress, against your well-being, tonight I command them to be subdued and bound with blindness in the mighty name of Jesus. I said even in the afternoon, they will be asking people what is happening outside. They will not see it again in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.